arrived into Lugano, Switzerland and it is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna be vlogging today, I'm very excited about it. I've always wanted to come to Switzerland and it is so pretty, so, so pretty. Making our way down to like the main center now. We actually took a bit of a detour by accident, but we got to see more, so that's fine. But yes, it's very pretty. I think it's gonna warm up throughout the day as well, because at the minute it's quite foggy, like on the lake area. But it's only about quarter past 10 in the morning, so it should clear up. There's the Switzerland McDonald's. <laughs> Not sure if it's too foggy in the morning or if it's just the sunshine. We've come to like a little garden place now. Just having a wander around really because getting our bearings really. But yes, just having a look around and seeing what there is. Change plan, we're gonna go look for some food now because I actually forgot that we haven't had breakfast this morning. I had a coffee, but that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna look for somewhere to eat now, somewhere to get a drink, and, and then we'll see what the day becomes. Still looking for somewhere to eat, but there is a lot of designer shops. <laughs> no, I actually get quite hungry, but we're just looking for something quite smallish, like a toasty or something. Can't find anything yet, but keep you updated when we do find somewhere. We've come across this little side bit on the street and I think I might go for the rosetta. No, it looks really nice actually. Um, so I might go for that. So we've come to this little cafe kind of thing, like restaurant vibe outside. This is my view, stunning. And we've gone for like these crepe style things <laughs> and a pineapple drink. So that should be very nice. Food's arrived. I'm excited to tuck into this. Mm. Oh, that's very nice. So that over there is the place that we just went to. It's like in the main square area here. So if anyone comes to Switzerland, highly recommend that place. It is gorgeous. Wow. We've come to like a little harbour area now. We're just sat along this bit here. There's quite a few people around us, but this is the view at the moment and it's very nice. It is actually very, very hot now. It's very sunny. It's cleared up a little bit. It still looks quite foggy-ish, but you can see a lot more now. I don't know if we're going to go on a boat later, maybe. We might have a look at prices and stuff and see what they look like. Um, but yeah, there's a few boats on the water now, so we'll see. Lake Lugano. Ooh, it's cold. There's so many dogs around here as well. They're so cute. We've now come away from like the central area and we're going up towards whenever this is. I actually saw like the tram tracks going up, so I don't know, we're just kind of looking around. It's still like half past 12, which it feels like we've been here for so long now, but it's such a good thing that it's still so early because we're still exploring. Just had a bit of a sit down as you saw. But yes, we're gonna look around and I will just put on like maybe montages and stuff, um, just because it's so pretty around here. We made it to the other side. So it was over, well yeah, all the way over there. But look how pretty, and it just looks so nice. I feel like I'm in a really rich part of, wow, like look at this hotel. <laughs> look at these hotels and stuff, these are crazy. It just looks very expensive around here. 
So this here is said to be a place that you should probably come to. It's like a monorail up to the top. But I think it's very popular. So yes, even though I haven't done it, probably recommend coming here because I actually would, wouldn't mind doing it. But I don't know if time is on our side. Yes, I'll show you this as well. This is what it looks like. Monorail. But there's the little monorail track going up. It looks cool. This is all the stuff. I think that there's, it's like all the stuff that happens on top, I suppose. Um, but I think there's a restaurant up there and there's other bits to do. I don't know if we're going to go on this because I'm scared. <laughs> oh, there's a gecko. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know where it's gone. Yeah. Cool. Oh, they're so cute. We're going to go into a little gelato shop now and have a look what there is. Hello. I'm going to get this black cherry. That looks really nice. Merci. Okay, hold on, no. This is very nice. Black cherry gelato. Mm. It's very bright, but we've just found a sea. There's actually loads of seats all running along the front, in front of the lake, but they're all pretty much taken. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, sit down. Uh, but we're just outside of the boat which I'm guessing goes all around the lake. So I'm gonna see how much that is in just a moment because that could be quite a fun experience to be honest. But yeah, just for now, just chilling, taking in the scenery and we'll get moving in a minute because it's still quite early. It's just coming up to two o'clock. <laughs> like it's been such a long day but in like the best way possible because you don't really want it to go fast. But yes, I'll show you my view because it's stunning. <laughs> we need to get a good seat. Yes, we um, decided to actually go on a boat this time because I thought, you know what, we're here, we might as well. So let's see how beautiful this is. Yay. This is going to be one of the prettiest boat rides I've ever been on. really fast this is about an hour and 15 boat ride and we're gonna go around the lake I think we're gonna go further than what we expected though but yeah this is very fast place you get to before you stop off at Lugano and we almost accidentally got off at the train station here but I mean it's not bad is it a dog on the water. Oh look, he's got a little live vest on. Oh, 
That's the end of the boat tour. We've made our way into the... Oh, what's it called? <laughs> I was gonna say like the little merchandise shops. I love coming in these. So I'm gonna find something and then take it home with me. And I'm gonna do the same for my lamp. So I ended up getting a magnet from that little shop. At the minute, we've got a 17 minute wait till the next train, but that's depending on if we're gonna make this or not. We made it. We've now made it back to Milan and that means that I am going to make an outro for this video So guys, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!